Hi everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to my skincare empty series. If this is the first video that you're seeing, I'm doing this series to pretty much recap all of my empty skincare products on the ones that I have tried on this channel. And today we're going to be talking about face masks. I haven't tried a lot of face masks on this channel and so this video will be relatively short, but I still wanted to recap some of my favorite ones because the ones I have tried, I really enjoy and I just want to talk about them. I do have four reviews to all of the products products mentioned in this video so make sure you click the card in the upper right hand corner or the links in the description and that will take you to my reviews but with that being said let's go ahead and jump into this video. So the first face mask that I really wanted to talk about was one that I tried recently on this channel and I've absolutely fallen in love with it because of the great texture to it. This is the Hero Cosmetics Pore Purity. This product is so simple yet very effective at detoxing my pores and cleansing my skin. It is a hybrid cleanser and face mask product and I really enjoyed the texture to it. It is one of the easiest face masks to rinse off and it's one of my favorite ones I've ever used because it just does great to really cleanse my pores without being too drying to the skin and the cleanser aspect of it is also really nice. This product just helps my acne like no other and it kind of replaced another face mask that I loved that I will talk about later in this video. It is a great price point and I absolutely love this product. The next product that I want to talk about is a hydrating face mask and my favorite one was the Bubble Hydrating Overnight Sleep Mask. This product was amazing. I love the hydrating feel to it. Something that I noticed with this product was it did work best when I would go in right after a moisturizer when my skin was still a little bit damp. It did amazing to hydrate the skin. It had great ingredients in it. It's very affordable. This product had an amazing feel to it. It did good to help my acne but it did have a chemical exfoliator in it so if you are sensitive to that just be aware of it but it was amazing it worked great to nourish and hydrate the skin and I really loved it because it was a very gentle exfoliator but yet it was still hydrating and gentle enough to use it every day the last face mask on the main list is a physical exfoliating face mask. Now this one is also another detox mask similar to the Hero Cosmetics. But it does have a little bit of an added physical exfoliator to it, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but some people do like that feel. And so I want to include that for that reason. This is the Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Face Mask. This product was amazing to create a very clean canvas is how I describe it because it really made my skin look amazing amazing with all of the great ingredients in it and also the physical exfoliator helped to get some of the dead skin cells off of my face. Now I don't recommend going in with this product very often and I would recommend going in on damp skin with this product to kind of minimize the exfoliation that you get with this product but it was great because it had some amazing chemical exfoliators in it as well that helped combat my acne and also my texture. This product also did an amazing job to clear my pores and I really recommend this product if you are looking for a very fast acting face mask. Now moving on to the honorable mentions, the Starface Sulfur Mask has been my favorite mask for a long time. I still love that product but the Hero Cosmetics I did like just a little bit more because of the amazing texture that it had. This product was a little bit thicker but it still did an amazing job to clear my pores and also clear my acne. It really took out a lot of the redness for my skin. The final mask was a hydrating face mask which was the Coco Kind Chia Bounce Mask. This product had an amazing feel to it and it was extremely lightweight yet very nourishing and hydrating for the skin. It was almost like a serum face mask product. It was amazing. It had great ingredients in it. It was also very hydrating and I just really enjoyed this product. Obviously I like the bubble a little bit more. This product was more of a serum feel and the bubble was more of a rich cream moisturizer. So they definitely did different things but I just gravitated towards the bubble a little bit more. Let me know what face mask you're loving and what I should try in the future on this channel. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.